so happy to share. I found inner Look at that on Angus. 
Was it a black guy?
issues for like eight months now. They're still holding up. I mean, eventually my team will grow a lot. Oh, well. So when we broke up, I was absolutely devastated. And I went into a deep depression. Bro, that's like everybody in high school right now. It's funny. It's deep. And it's difficult. And I want to tell you this just in case you ever have to go So people actually care when she's depressed. Social commentary. Alright, so. I'd like to I've seen I that. had a dream that changed everything. And I want to share this dream with you because it's epic. Not only was it the best CGI effects I've ever seen, oh, but it's also changed my life. So here's the dream, okay? Are you listening? We're talking about dreams. <laughs> okay, so in this dream, where me and my loved ones are in a train, we're watching a beautiful sunset. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, the sun goes like this, and it's out. And everyone starts panicking. Because we're not sure how much time we have, but certainly the source of our galaxy, I mean our solar system, has gone out. So people are panicking and looking for things. So people are looking for people and looking for things to take with them, but you can't take anything with you because the whole world is going to be over. So I start looking for my loved ones, and as I look around, I say, oh my gosh, I found you! I'm so happy to be with you! And they're like, oh yeah, that's great! And then they start looking for something else, and no one can actually be present with me. So I had this realization, gosh, if no one can be with me, you know, I'm trying to call my dad. I don't know if you realize this, but cell phones never work in dreams. It's just not good reception. So I feel so alone and afraid. And I think, okay, if everyone I've ever loved can't be with me, then I guess I have them within me in my memory. And all those things that I wish that I could have done are within me in my imagination. And when I thought that, I suddenly became so calm because I realized that everything that ever has been or ever could be was within me. And suddenly time didn't matter anymore. I was just going to be here for it. So I thought, well, you know, this is kind of cool time, the world's ending, and I guess I get to see it, so the only thing to do would be to go be present. So I go sit up on top of this hill, and I'm looking out over LA, and it's all this destruction and chaos. And I sit down, I go, okay, everything's within me. What was good here? And I hear it. And then I hear the sound of birds. And then I'm in the forest, looking at the beautiful trees, and I'm sipping a cup of tea, and I remember moments of playing in the sunshine with my mom as a little girl, and it's all these little beautiful moments of life that society doesn't tell you are the real meaning of life. It's not about the Lamborghini or the fancy house or having the right Instagram page. Having the baddest page. It's about loving every moment, and most of those moments are moments that are just just when I'm looking at the sunset and I'm taking it in, it's like this beautiful image that's just for me that the whole sky did. And it's not, it doesn't matter how, like, it doesn't matter the value as in the dollar value of what's going on, but it's what matters to you that's important. So here I am at the end of the world and I'm thinking about all these beautiful things that are so happy and they're like, this is what life is about. It's love, it's joy, it's being present, it's enjoying the moment. And so I find this beautiful source of joy within me, and I have this like golden aura around me, and I'm like, oh, if there's any chance that another universe or another world can be born, then I just want to send this love out as hardcore as I can into the universe, so the universe knows what was good. And then, as I find this beautiful joy, the world ends and everyone goes. Well, that's a weird way to end it. <laughs> that deserves an applause. The best part is, I then woke up in this world. And at first I was a little nervous because I was a dream too. But I was like, oh my god, the sun, which if you recall, had burned out in my dream. 
was shining in through the window on my cheeks. And I will never forget the feeling I had that morning when the sun was back. It was like this. That's right, audience, just close your eyes. <laughs> Is such a dog. You just, this is here, this is what we're here for, is to enjoy life, to put joy into life, and to be joy in this life. Hey, dude. Hey, Will. Dude, look at me. The song that keeps me from that moment. Hey, Will. 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 Shelby gonna get so hard when he hears, sees this. Oh, crap. Look, look, look. Hey, Shelby. Did they like make out or something? I must have. How do you feel about that? Is that making it hard? No. They made out, I think. Yeah, I caught the new maiden. Oh, don't even. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's straight. It's, a, it's okay. Shut, 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 shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. She's, she's, she's making a new thing. Okay, okay, bring back the swing with us. For yourself. Uh, David, how do you feel? Where's your fucking snatch? She keeps on being too rotted. She's supposed to see if she's like picking at us. Damn, Tony, I can't keep something like that. There's no seats and looking at everybody. Oh, it's like the prime. But it's like over. I can't watch it. She looks like me. She looks like me. She looks like me.